And we're learning Oregon State Police will be downtown this weekend to help with demonstrations. Protesters have hit the streets nightly for the past 90 days. Now, Mayor Ted Wheeler says economic recovery and ending that violence are his sole priorities. Fox 12's Drew Reeves spoke to one downtown business who says they'll believe the mayor when they see it. He joins us live now, Drew. Yeah, I spoke to the general manager of a liquor store downtown who did not want him or his business identified for fear of being targeted by rioters. He says that his business was hit in the initial riot on May 30th, and it has been a struggle since then. It's been a pretty long trying three months here. For many Portland businesses trying to recover from the financial impacts of COVID-19 and nightly protests has not been easy. It's just been a slow a slow grind, a slow build. One downtown liquor store says on the night of May 30th, people did property damage and looting in the amount of tens of thousands of dollars. Now, the general manager, who only wants to be identified as Jim, says he's scared every day it'll happen again. Every night when I go home, I kind of sleep with one eye open, waiting for my phone to ring with alarm services, let me know that we've had a and another break in. Even now, he says he and his employees still worry for their safety. On multiple occasions, he's closed the store early to ensure his employees could make it out of downtown without running into protests. One of those instances was this last Saturday when right wing protesters clashed with counter protesters. They actually locked up and hunkered down in the office for about 45 minutes and waited for it to be quiet out there before they left. Last night, the mayor announced that he will be coming up with a plan to focus on economic recovery for local businesses and ending the nightly violence. Today, the mayor met with business owners and the Portland Business Alliance to share his vision. The mayor and his team proposed a series of funding uh, options that would not only clean the downtown district, but depending on alignment with his colleagues, uh, could potentially expand to the greater 405 corridor. But Jim says he isn't buying it just yet. Leave it when I see it. I, that's all I can say on that. But he does hope that Portland can return to what it once was. Hopefully he can do the right thing and make the, see the streets safe again in downtown Portland for not only businesses, but for just people. I mean, you just don't see people walking around in downtown Portland anymore. The Portness Portland Business Alliance says that the mayor has also discussed plans to address homelessness, which they say has only increased during the pandemic. The mayor is set to release details of his plans in the coming days. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Drew Reeves, Fox 12, Oregon.